What's going on guys, my name is Tom from Dread Labs and today I'm going to show you how to make these 3D shapes in Illustrator. Alright, so we're up in Illustrator right now and um, we have uh, four shapes in here. So the shapes are done in two different ways and I'm going to explain them right now. So the first one that we have here is made with a rectangular grid tool. So you can find that right here. Uh, make sure you make a square and make sure that you also have like the same amount of vertical lines and horizontal lines or at least close to that. Uh, so I'm fine with this. Let's just center it. So now I'm going to grab the free transform tool which you can get by pressing the shortcut E. Or you know, I can also find it here. And we're going to select our shape and with the free transform tool selected make sure that your uh, cursor is looking like this and then click and hold and then hold shift option or alt and command and control or control uh, and this makes you get like a perspective uh, warp kind of thing going on here uh, so yeah bring it in to about here and then you can just lower it like so and let's recenter it okay so right now what you want to do is you go to object envelope distort make with mesh uh, so what this does is let's just turn on the preview uh, you make a mesh around the whole shape, as you can see, and you can decide how many points you want. And what's important for this uh, distortion is make sure that it's an even number. And um, I'll show you what happens if you uh, don't use an even number later, but uh, for now, let's just go with two. That's fine. And now with the direct selection tool, you can click on these edges and distort them. So, for example, if we drag this in, you can distort it. And with the middle one selected, you can drop it down to about here, which gives you this cra crazy 3D effect, uh, as if it's like uh, some gravity uh, interface kind of thing, I don't know. Um, so yeah, what happens if we uh, put a even number in there? Is you don't have a center, so, uh, well, you can kind of do some cool things with that as well, but that's really not what we uh, did in here. Uh, but yeah, um, so the distort with mesh uh, setting is pr pretty cool to experiment with, and I encourage you to do uh, to do exactly that. And it's done with the same uh, mesh distort, so you grab the polar grid tool, and here again, make sure that you have uh, a decent amount of lines and circles. Center it. And make sure that you also have a stroke selected. And turn that up to 3. And here again, you go to Object, Envelope Distort, and Make with Mesh. Make sure it's an even number. Uh, use your direct selection tool in the center point, and drag it inward, or to the left, or wherever you want to. Uh, it just gives you that 3D effect. So, the second ones are done with another effect, uh, which is a bit more complicated, but I'll show you uh, how to do it right now. So, for the first one, we grab our ellipse tool, which you can find here, or by pressing L on the keyboard. Make a shape, and then go to your direct selection tool by pressing A, and delete this point. So now we have half circle. Here you're going to want to go to Effect, 3D, Revolve. And it will get you this crazy weird shape. Uh, so what you want to do is you go to surface, wireframe, and it's kind of hard to see right now because it's black. Um, but yeah, you can still uh, kind of have the same shape. Uh, let's just do uh, diffuse shading again so we see what, what's going on. And you want to click from uh, left edge and you want to go to right edge, which uh, makes it revolve around itself. So what's happening is you have this half uh, circle and it's revolving around this uh, axis. And if you click on wireframe and click OK, um, well, it's kind of hard to see, but you have your 3D object already uh, there. So what you want to do to expand and edit this is you go to Object, Expand Appearance. And if you give this a wide stroke, and uh, punch it up a bit, you can see uh, that there's some 3D stuff going on. How to make more complicated shapes like this, uh, maybe you have already guessed it, but if you grab a full circle you go to effect 3d revolve again you can get this kind of donut looking uh, shape 
Uh, you can also try and change uh, the movement of these or the position. Uh, so because this is still from the left edge, you can also do the right edge and you can uh, make another donut. But because it's a circle and it has the same size, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you can have more luck with that with the other shape, the half circle. Anyway, uh, so if you click on left edge and then on, let's just put 50 on the offset. And this is what happens, like the circle in within uh, gets a bit bigger and you get some room in between. So if we punch this up to 200 and well, uh, let's just go into this effect again and change it to wireframe. Again, go to object, expand appearance and give it a white stroke so it's visible. And there you have your 3D shapes. So uh, this is doable with all kinds of different shapes. Uh, so I highly encourage you to uh, just play around with this and uh, see what you can make with these functions. So the file on this will be available on Patreon. If you have any suggestions for a video, uh, please let me know in the comments or join us on Discord. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.